Hi, this is Tara from Jula Bay Design Studio, and today I'm going to show you how to use Silhouette Studio. You can use the free version in order to print the Tumblr templates that I sell. So, the first thing you want to do when you bring up Silhouette Studio is to make sure your page setup is correct. My page setup just shows up when I open up Silhouette. So, I am changing it. It was defaulting to uh, the size of the mat, which is 12 by 12. I've changed the media size to be letter which is 8.5 by 11 and I made sure that it was set that way in this width and height and then I took off the constrained media to cutting mat. So basically I have a landscape piece of paper which is exactly what I want. So I know by looking through the sizing help PDF that's included with all of my designs, I know which design template I'm going to print out. I am printing out uh, Taper 2 because that is what my Tumblr is like. So very often when you load into Silhouette the first time it gets confused and puts it into a 72 dpi file instead of a 300 dpi file. So it's going to look gigantic on this piece of paper. You're also going to see this exclamation mark saying it's low resolution. That's because it's trying to display my file at 38 inches wide. When in fact, I know from the sizing template that this is 9.25 by 8.2. So I basically resize it. It's going to come down into this corner here. That's where it is. Oops. It's right there. I'm going to resize it and pull it up back onto my paper. Some of you, it will not do this for you. Some of you, it does do this for. So I'm glad it did it in this demo to give you an example of what happens. So. I've got it back on my piece of paper and I am now going to, and I can see my size is what I told it to be, I'm going to right click onto the design and I'm going to say flip horizontally because I'm doing sublimation. So I need this to be an, a mirror inverse when I print it. So when I put it on my tumbler, it is the proper uh, orientation. If you're doing water slide decal, do it the way you always do. If you don't inverse your design, don't do this step. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go to the print page setup. And I can see I'm at a letter. It's landscape. So now I'm going to go file, print. I'm going to click on print here and it's going to let me choose which printer I want. So I know I want this printer, which is my sublimation printer. I'm going to go to my preferences first and I'm going to set my paper and settings exactly how I normally use it. I always put it on high. Um, sometimes I turn off high speed, especially if I'm getting lines on my printer, but I'm going to do it as high speed because it seems to be looking good right now. It's never the design. It's always the printer if you get lines. Um, so I am going to just hit OK, go, print. And you're going to hear my printer printing in a few seconds here. And that is all you have to do. Um, there's plenty other software you can use. I prefer Adobe Photoshop, but I know most of you don't have that. With that said, this is a free option. It gets you printing. And I'm going to go because my printer is being really loud. Anyways, I hope this helps you out. Um, you can also check out my other video tutorials where I'm going to show you how to measure your Tumblr to determine which size of template you should be printing. Thanks.